Hi friends, it's Tammy in My World in OKC, and I tried to make eco paper. <laughs> I should have videoed it, but I wanted to try it first to see if I could get it to work. I watched uh, probably at least 20, 30 videos on how to do it and boil the paper and get the flowers to, uh, you know, bleed off onto the paper and stuff. And for me, it was a hot mess. <laughs> I don't know if I didn't boil it long enough or what I did, but it did not work for me. And it was a really like long job for a few pieces of paper. <laughs> <laughs> and so I went on Pinterest and was just kind of looking around and seeing what other people were doing besides boiling the paper. And there was a lot of people who were doing the spray over the actual, you know, flowers and leaves and such. So I went outside and I gathered um, some more leaves and flowers. Um, just got some little oak leaves here. Um some little flowers that are off you know this is actually off my three great grandmother's plant so I'm hoping those are pretty um, one of my dad's roses off his little rose bushes that I planted for him uh, just some big grass um, here's just a vine a, you know here and then I did have these these are fake um, but they were outside and I thought you know what they're dusty dirty but I'm just gonna cut off a little piece of the end because I think that would look pretty so I got that as well and you could use fake for this you don't have to have real and I brought over my inks and sprays which for this I'm just gonna try it with tattered angels uh, glimmer mist and you know ink sprays here so uh, let me set that to the side and I brought over two different kinds of paper. I've got this uh, regular craft cardstock, and then I've got a lighter cream color craft uh, paper. Um, I wanted something a little sturdy to see if this holds up to it. So let's start with the craft paper first. And uh, let's just see uh, what we can come up with. Let's do the plastic leaf on here and I think I might set well let's just set it that way it's all trial trial and error at this point and uh, let's try these two little pieces from uh, my uh, great granny's um, flower and I think I'm gonna go with oh well, let's see what colors I want um, give me just a moment. I'm just looking through some colors. Let's see. Blue. Should I do pink? There's brown, like a bronze. Uh, well, let me just dig them all out at this point. I've almost got them. Purple might be pretty. Uh, let's try some purple. And this is a glimmer mist, so you do need to, you know, shake up the... Um, oh gosh, I just went blank. The glitter stuff on the bottom. There's a different word for it, but I just went blank, so sorry. Okay, I want this just shook up a little bit. And when you shake these, you guys don't shake these up and down because it will come out the top. Shake them back and forth. Okay, and I do have this little box so I don't get spray just everywhere all over me or the work surface. Um, it just kind of keeps it in here. So, uh, Let's see what we get. Hopefully this won't be an epic fail. I'm going to give it a good spray. And I'm actually going to use another color. Let's try. And this purple color, this is, the name is Purple Rain. And then I think I'm going to use some Lime Light. And it's kind of a limey, light green color. And I think on top of all that, because we're just going to go crazy here, I'm just going to use some sunlight. It's like a little clear uh, color. It's like yellowish. But it will give a good sparkle, I think. Okay, now this is a hot mess and it's really wet. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use another piece of paper on top like to mop it up. And just give it a rub. 
Okay, here is the Muppet page, which that's kind of cool. It's like it's different, but neat. And then here, ever so lightly, and I probably won't use these again. I just was testing this. Uh, if I like it, I'll pick more. But that looks pretty cool. I kind of like it. Okay, so, uh, and if you wanted to do the backsides, of course, just flip it over and, and do your backsides. <laughs> do your backsides. <laughs> on this one, I'm going to try this creamy, it's like a white color cream. Uh, let's put these leaves on here. And this is my take on getting some eco paper without having to uh, have such a mess. And I think I'm going to lay this grass blade kind of like, maybe let's go this way with it. Okay, I kind of like that for a layout. And I think I want to do a darker green, which this is uh, Patina Bill, Bell. Give it a little shake. Okay, and I think the only thing I'm going to do on top of this is just some of the uh, sunlight. And then let's do another page for like a Moppet page. Oh, that's kind of pretty, you guys. Oh, I kind of like. And then, oh, look at there. Okay, I like this so much better than boiling paper. <laughs> <laughs> and you can just dry this with your heat tool or let it air dry. It's up to you. I'm digging it. I, I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, let's do one more uh, because I do have my little rose. I'm going to try to flatten it out here. Uh, let's see. I need to set these down somewhere. Uh, I guess they'll just sit right there in the box. Um... I do want this to maybe set a little flatter. So let's go with that. It does have little thorns on it. What I will do for my friends, ow. And then these little oak leaves, let's, uh, let's put them like that. Let's try that. And I do have to get another piece of paper because I am one short. So give me just a second. Okay, this one I think I wanna do some dark pink and this is cherry and I think I'm going to turn my box just a well no let me just see if I can get that to lay down a little flatter oh my rose it snapped off but that's okay because I think I can do it better if it's upside down like that anyway so uh, we'll see what we get Oh, I see a little bug off my rose. That's nasty. Well, uh, get off of there. Um, let's just go for it. Okay, I think I'm going to do a little of the pink there. And then I think... Oh, let's see. Let's do some... Let's do some bronze color. A light... This is Brass Bell. And you notice I only did the top part of the rose just because I thought, you know, the brass could be at the bottom. Oh, mine's dripping. Get that to come out right. I love using my Tattered Angel Spray. And then I do think I want to go over the whole thing with some sunlight. And then my page on top and if you want to do the other sides of these when it dries just do the other sides oh that's kind of cool I have to let that set and dry 
and then that not too the the Moppet page looks better for the rose than this page but this is still kind of cool I like this it's like I love how you can see the leaves and stuff I like now I I want to do one more I brought enough paper to do another another little set and what you're basically doing is you're using these as your stencil I want to do a rose and you know what these little leaves petals are coming off that's just uh, do some and kind of make a like a second little flower because I only brought in one I didn't want to tear up all the rose bushes in case it was an epic fail, you know. Hopefully you guys can see okay. And, oh, there's another little petal. So let's just put it over here. And I can't remember whose Pinterest I saw this on. I do apologize. Uh, I just can't remember. I looked at so many videos that it just... You know, not coming to me. Let's put that down like that. And maybe let's do a couple of the little rose leaves. Like that maybe. Or maybe let's put that one over there. Okay, let's see what we get. Let's do, let's go back with the purple. I really like the purple. It's purple rain. Makes me think of Prince. Oh, look at that. You got to be careful. Ooh, it's like blew them. Might have to put a little dab of glue on those to make those stay. Let me try a little farther back. Are ever so careful. Oh. Okay. Ever so careful. Uh, and I think I'll go over with some. Let's do this bluebell. Gotta hold it back a little more. That's what it was. I was too close. Okay, and I really like to saturate my paper because I like to do the mop-up page. You don't have to. You could pick them up and, you know, be done. But I feel like why waste, uh, why waste the ink? Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, I really think that's cute. What do you guys think? I really like this. And it was so much easier than boiling paper. I am sorry. I know a lot of you guys do that and you love it. It it just wasn't for me. <laughs> I don't have time. I feel like I, I want gratification now. It's like, I don't have time to let that stuff boil for two hours and stuff. This, it was so easy. We've been on here for, you know, like about 13 minutes now. And I've made, what, eight pages, ten pages? Let's see, two, four, six, uh, eight pages. So that's, I like that. That's cool. So uh, that's what I was doing today is just making some paper. And I didn't use the vine. Uh, but... I like this so much better than boiling paper. Um, you guys who like to boil paper, great. Uh, it's just not for me, like I said. Um, but I thought this was a cool way to use your flowers as a stencil and to pretty much get that same look. So I like the look. I think it's very pretty. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, if you guys need to, go on Pinterest. There's a lot of people doing it. A lot of people are doing the eco paper now. Um, let me know if you guys try it and how you like it. Um, that's all I got for now. You guys, uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to go dry this paper so I can use it in a journal. Bye, friends.